Witch in Darkness by Kellyanne Maddox. Um, magic for tough times, bad days, and moments of total um, catastrophe. Catastrophic. Um, catastrophe. Oh, mean words today. Um, so this is her second book. Um, I might actually get, um, like this is my library's copy of it. So I might just get like the ebook or eventually a physical copy of it. Um, so, um, So she walks you through a number of different um, areas of life and different things um, to do, to write, to, um, you got like mantras, you got like stuff to like really reflect. Um, you got like a content warning because she does talk about a lot of um, topics that could be hard for some people. Um, like abusive relationships, grief slash sibling bereavement, addi um, addiction, mental illness, self-harm, and uh, suicidal ideation. So um, even me just saying that, I don't know if um, this video is gonna, um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to like remake this video. Um, so you got three parts to it. Um, Part one, raw and real witchcraft. Part two, what can be done in the dark. Part three, extra support. And she does have um, what's in in each. So um, you got the introduction. So um, and like how to use the book. Uh, part one celebrates you as an authentic witch who can give yourself permission to be as raw and messy as you need to be during times of strife. Um, and Tana continues on a little more. Part two, we'll look at various difficult life themes ranging from self-worth issues and relationship breakdowns to bereavement, mental health, crisis, and loss of faith. Um, part three is uh, trouble shooting space. Um, so, and she co she's got other um, information in um, the introduction. Um, part one, like, so sacred imperfection. Um, so, like, at the end of each chapter, she has um, two things. So, like, write it. Um, so, like, you got, like, a question and then what you like what she's suggesting you do relating to um, what's in the bolded text. Um, so it's like a question or like a quote or something. Um, so it, like explain or list your answer to that question or describe what you think or how you feel towards this um, statement. And then you got speak it, which are kind of like um, like affirma affirmations, mantras, whatever you want to call them, and then goes on to um, the next chapter. Um, so, and like there are times where she's got like lists um, of, of things, so like where, um, or she has like list but like an explanation um along with it um so like first part is kind of like things um tied to your tool belt kind of things um And instead of just like having like bullet points of, oh, here's things to do, like she's helping you like have an idea of what to do and everything. Um, 
cleansing before working, making sacred space, raising your energy levels, uh, working with beings. And then going into part two, um, selfhood and darkness. Um, making the shrine to self, or embracing all aspects of self. Um, so kind of like sometimes like you'll have like rituals kind of to do um, if you want to do them. Um, like this, like this one's um stuff to do like in each um, phase of the moon. Um, family in darkness. Um, Shielding the black sheep, um, harnessing family flower power, um, breaking the family cycle, um, mind in darkness, um, feeling through the dark, um, witching for the courage to call for help, releasing really your feelings and emotions. Um, try an automatic writing. So giving a lot of things um, to do in um, different aspects of your life. Um, darkness of lack. Um, dark artists. So exp um, exploring um, your creativity and using that as like working your way through um, whatever you're feeling um combining art and witchcraft um compiling your spiritual timeline um walking talking with your wound um and like coming out of like your darkness um banishing cravings um Blessing and protecting your toolkit, so having so like a lot of the stuff in here can be part of like a toolkit type of thing, different things that can help you out, like the like the write it and speak it aspects of each um, chapter. Um, and so, and she also has like um, kind of a chapter talking about like um, activism. Um, like working and like working with that um, and like part three um, she answers some common questions she gets from um, practitioner, practitioners who find themselves being scared, confused, or hopeless and in need of reassurance so it's just um, kind of like a question and then her answer to it And a few different um, topics. Um, so, and then you get like to the end. Um, reading this book has required you to be open, brave, and trusting. I didn't fill it with the easiest of subject matters and have asked you to consider some of the saddest things that can weigh on a human heart. Um, and there's other stuff in there. Um, uh, and the acknowledgments, um, but, but yeah, like, I think this can be a really, um, like, if you have watched her on YouTube or have gotten, um, purchased one of her, like, readings or services from her, um, like from her website because she's a professional like tarot reader and um she offers like readings and other um services on her website and like she does like youtube as well um so if you do like watching her stuff um and have read her first book this book can also be um and if you know what kind of like, um, I 
like, person or like kind of like um, how she is um, uh, like just from like watching her um, this can be like a great help um, you got a decent uh, amount of stuff in here like there's like um, like 265 pages or so of information and stuff that could help you out so um, again this is the stuff in here could just be in addition to the stuff you're already doing um, but wanting kind of like a witchy kind of aspect to it um, this can be um, in addition to all the other things you're um, doing as well so yeah witch in darkness happy readings